So check this out. I knew that the Zhaoyi C series was based on the Intelli Explorer 3.0, but I didn't realize how much until seeing it again. So from the back, and side, and other side, and front. So the EC is a clone of the Intelli mouse, right? Actually, no. This is them from the base. In the hand, they actually feel really different. I would never mistake one for the other. The EC series is like a more rounded version of the Intelli mouse, so I'd call it heavily inspired by, not cloned. These are both huge mice though, so looking at the dimensions of the Intelli mouse, grip width is about 6.1 centimeters, length is about 13.1, and height is about 4.2, with the hump being in the middle. I can palm grip this, but I think hands under 19.5 centimeters could palm it too. Otherwise, I'd actually recommend it for claw and fingertip grip for hands above 20 centimeters. It's one of the few extra large mice on the market. Here's a size comparison so you get a general idea. And in the latency testing, it performed as well as the G903. Now here's a listen to the buttons. Overall, pretty good. The left and right are crisp, but also loud. The wheel has some steps, but feels light. And it's also loud from the steps when used quickly. The side buttons are quite nice. Low travel, nice click. They're also flat against the side, which is actually good. Build-wise, it seems pretty good, except mine is a bit loose at the back, and something rattles inside. It's okay though. The sides have a rubberized coating, somewhat glossy plastic on the buttons, then matte plastic on the back. All feel pretty good. Standard mouse feet, no issue. The cable is braided and more flexible than I was expecting, but still not as good as what we're used to now. It was fine in a bungee though. So because it's a big mouse, the weight being 109 grams isn't too bad, but I would have liked to see lighter. And the sensor is a 3389, one of the top opticals. So all good there. Looking at software, the mouse doesn't have extra buttons for custom commands, but the software has some cool features, like accelerated scrolling. DPI from 200 to 16,000. And it's also RGB, just slide light at the back. You can also change the liftoff height. So it's a good mouse and one worth looking at if you have large hands. And if you didn't like the Zowie EC1's wheel or side buttons. Also the button height is actually lower on the Intelli mouse, so it might be even better for aim. But then you remember the weight, so maybe not. I think overall the comfort is not as good. Zowie smoothed out the design and made it nicer to hold. Really depends what you think is more important. No mouse is perfect. And this is a bit behind the times in terms of what I would expect from a mouse now. But hope that helps. Not sponsored or sent out, I actually bought this one. Just to have a look for old times sake. Use your links in the description if you want to help support what I do. And as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.